Winter is coming guys, so that means we're gonna have to take off my beautiful HRE wheels on my 2024 Mustang, and we're gonna be throwing on some new silver wheels. Now, there's a lot of controversy between black and silver wheels. Uh, this one looks better, that one looks better. So we got both now. We're gonna be throwing them on the Mustang. It's not too cold yet, but I'm too excited. I can't wait. I wanna throw the wheels on and see what it looks like. We're gonna be throwing them on in this video. Here is the HRE wheels I have. I already got too excited. I already jacked up the car. We're gonna be switching the wheels out. Here are the new silver wheels we got. As you can see, it's like a, a glossy finish, and then we got a brushed part right here. These are niche Prodigy five wheels, I'm pretty sure. I got them from American Muscle. These are my stock Continental tires that came on the car. So this is just a 19 inch wheel, eight and a half width stock tires that came with the car. I just swapped them over to these. This is gonna be the winter setup for now, but I'm too impatient. To I really just wanna throw them on. Can't wait to see what they look like. I really don't have any silver on the car except for the headlight we got silver and then in the back I have the exhaust tips that are chrome or silver, whatever you would like to call them. But with these wheels I do have that silver too. But I mean I kind of think that kind of goes together. I mean you got the silver in the headlight that matches with that and then you got now the AWE exhaust tip with, that matches that too. That stuff will match this wheel pretty good I think so we're going to throw these on and see what it looks like. Hopefully it looks good. I've seen some race red S650s with silver wheels and they look pretty good so well, let's see. Got the wheel off pretty easy. We're not going to be reusing those black lug nuts, but let's throw on the silver wheel, see how it looks, and then we'll do the rest of the car. I'm kind of excited to see how it looks with these lowering springs. So with these new niche wheels, we're going to have to have hub centering rings. These are plastic ones because if you get the aluminum or whatever metal they use, they'll seize to the hub, and obviously you don't want to do that. Here they are. I got to reset the suspension. That's why there's a huge wheel gap there and in the front. I don't know how I feel about them. I got to take it outside, reset the suspension. We will see, but all I'm saying is that the wheel clearance with the caliper is very, very small. I mean, look at that right there. I mean, look at that. It's super tight, like less than one millimeter from hitting the caliper itself, but they do clear. It's a really tight fit, but they do clear. All I know is I'm gonna be spinning like crazy because they're 255s stock tires. We got the Mustang under some good lighting at the Speedway, even though I never get gas at Speedway because it is water, but here it is. I think we need some spacers on it. I think it would make it look a little bit better. Honestly, what I honestly think about it is they're all right, but the, the, the wheels look stock. They look like stock wheels. That's what, kind of what's throwing me off. I thought they would look a little bit better because there's no like concave, deep cave into the wheels or anything because they're just, they're just stock wheels pretty much. It just looks like OEM plus wheels. So nothing crazy at all, but I'll just turn it around and show you guys. So it honestly doesn't look terrible. Just the wheels look OEM. That's the only thing. They need to stick out a little bit more because as we come up to the fenders here, you can see there's quite a bit of a, a gap. These are a 35 offset, so maybe a 25 millimeter one inch spacer will work. I do have those actually, I'm just missing the lug nuts. That's why I didn't put them on, so I can't put those on without the lug nuts obviously, and especially the back too, because I think we're gonna throw on some spacers. Maybe it'll look a little bit better. But what do you guys think? I don't think it looks terrible. They just look like stock wheels, to be honest. I think if they came in 20 inches, which they do, but I just didn't want to get new tires. I wanted to keep these stock tires for the winter because no point in getting another set of tires when these are perfectly fine. If these were 20 inches, maybe had some like concave and some depth to them because right now they're just kind of like flat. I think it would look a little bit better. Not terrible. I still think my HREs look way better. I've had the Niche Prodigy 5 silver wheels on my Mustang for a few days now. It is kind of growing on me a little bit, but now an issue that we will be facing with these wheels is how dirty they are going to get with these Brembo brakes. Because if you guys know the performance package Brembo brakes on the S650 Mustangs or any like Mustang S550, S650, they produce so much brake dust and I've only been driving to and from work and that's not very far. I haven't drove a lot of miles on these wheels and there's already a nice black coat of brake dust on the wheels. You might not pick up on camera. Oh, you can see, you can see all the black dust. We already got a nice coat on there. It's way worse in person, but you can see 
Look at all, all in the corner and especially deep in the wheel well. Yeah, these are gonna be a pain to clean all year. Even the backs have a nice coat on there. We have the smaller four piston Brembo's on the back, which the S550's don't have. I really love how that looks on the back of these S650's. They don't produce as much brake dust, but there still is a nice coat on there already. That's kind of why I chose the matte black HRE wheels because one, it hides the brake dust a lot better than gloss and two, gloss scratches really easily. And I didn't want, I hate swirl marks. I hate any scratches on my car. I want it to look perfect all the time, but obviously that's literally not gonna happen. You literally can touch the car with your finger and you'll create a, like a micro scratch. So it's literally impossible, but that's kind of why I went with the HRE wheels in black. I mean, it hides the brake dust a lot better, especially matte black, but when those HRE wheels are coated with a bunch of brake dust in the sunlight, they literally look brown and it's not a good look. The brake dust on these cars is insane, but at least it just gives me something to do in the winter time to clean the wheels really good every time I wash the car. They are growing on me though. I think they do look pretty good. I mean, what do you guys think? I think if they didn't look as OEM, because these are only 19 by eight and a halfs, and a 255 40 19 tire, literally the stock tire that came on the car. I just didn't want to buy new tires because there's no point. These still have great tread life. And plus I'm probably just going to burn these up in the winter time anyway. I do donuts sometimes and I do burnouts. I smoke them out. So I don't really care about these tires at all. I'm not going to buy a good winter set of wheels because the tires that the wheels that I had on this car were a bronze wheel because this is technically a bronze package car. You wouldn't have known because I took the bronze badges out, which is the 5.0 badge, the back badge, and then the pony badge in the front, and then also the bronze wheels, but I took all that out and I replaced them with black badges. I think it looks way better. And obviously I got rid of the wheels. I still have the wheels in the basement. I think silver looks pretty good. I just didn't really like the bronze. It just didn't go with the car. I don't think it really looks good with the red. Now, if it was a dark red, like the ruby red, yes, the bronze would have looked good. Or if it was like a the Atlas blue or the deep blue on these S650s, I think that would look good in bronze as well. We also got these carbon fiber bits all over the S650, carbon mirror caps, carbon fiber hood vent, and we also got these carbon fiber side vents all from Extreme Online Store. Best quality stuff. I also do have a video on that coming out really soon, so make sure to check that out. We're also going to be getting some more carbon fiber. I definitely do need a front lip because I'm not really rocking with this stock front lip because that's not really a front lip, but I don't like how that looks. I need a new, a new, new lip ASAP. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but this car is absolutely filthy. There's like a layer of dust. This thing hasn't been washed in like two weeks. It rained yesterday. Got all these water spots all over. The back is probably disgusting. Yeah, all over there, water spots, all over here, water spots. Exhaust tips are dull. Back here, there's literally like a coat of dust. You probably can't see it, but we're gonna wash this thing. Might just take it through a self-wash. No brushes, obviously. We don't do that. Let me know what you guys think of the Niche Prodigy 5 silver wheels that I have on my S650. Does the S650 look good with the silver wheels or should I have went with a different wheel in black for the winter setup or should I just throw the bronze wheels back on? What do you guys think? I appreciate all your feedback and your comments. Just let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Drive safe.